Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5066613 on your Windows 11 version 2.5H2 computer. Now for this, the first step is to run Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this, you can open this link. The link is provided in the video description. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now over here, if you see any update, click on update or if you see install option, you can install it. In my case, it is already up to date. And then you can check still not working. The next step is to run these two command. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator only. And then click on yes to allow. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command and then paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this will take some time. It will run a scan. Now the scan will take time and once the scan is 100% complete, so right now it's running, once this is 100% complete, copy the second command and paste it on the same window. And once the second scan, this scan is 100% complete over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check still not working the next step is to pause and restart the update now for this you can go to windows settings go to windows update and then over here you will see pause option if you see retry option hit retry if that does not work you can pause and once pause now hit resume updates and then you can try to update and then check still not working the next step is to start these services so type in services in windows search box and then click on services Now, once the services is open, now find app readiness, make a double click on app readiness, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Now, make a right click on app readiness and then click on restart. Now, find windows update, scroll down here, you can see windows update, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Make a right click on Windows Update and then click on Restart. Now find Background Intelligent Transfer Service. Make a double click. Again, set this to Automatic. Click on Apply. Click on Start if highlighted. Now click on OK and make a right click and then click on Restart. Now you can go back to Windows Update and then try to update your Windows 11 and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, write down the name of the update that is KB5066613 and then click on search over here. Now type in WINVER in Windows search box. Make sure that you have version 25H2 and then you can open Windows settings, go to system, go to scroll down and then click on about and over here you can see I have 64 bit operating system so my system is x64 so for me it's uh, windows 11 version 25h2 x64 based so this is uh, this is the right one for me now click on download and on this page uh, you will see kb5066613 click on it and it will download the file now once the download is complete you click on this file and then run this file and follow the on-screen instruction to install this update manually and once done restart your computer and after the system restart you can check it should be installed still not working the last step is to no the next step is to fix problems using windows update option so for this you can open windows settings go to windows update and then go to advanced option scroll down go to recovery option here you can see fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now now this process will take a long time and once this is done then restart your computer and then check the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website here scroll down and then click on here you can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file when you run this exe file click on accept over here and by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file over here and then click on next 
you can save it to desktop save let the download complete this process will take some time and once done click on finish option now once you hit finish let this close automatically it will take few seconds to close now go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file run the setup file click on yes to allow click on next and then click on accept over here and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so make sure this is checked and then hit install after the installation log into the computer and then you can update your windows 11 and you should be able to install this update successfully without any error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel